Hello everyone, this is Captain Soba, and welcome aboard to Starship Enormaprise for another episode of Homeworld... God dang it, this is not Homeworld Complex. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I got Homeworld on the brain right now. Um, this is PC Building Simulator. So let's go ahead and grab our power supply so we can get this thing going. Oh, and um, a word of warning. Uh, it is hunting season, so there's uh, our neighbors are um, on their property uh, hunting right now. And our dogs don't really like it, so if you hear our dogs go crazy barking like like a uh, mad dog, so uh, that'd be the reason why. And I'll probably, depending on how bad it is, I might interrupt the video, settle them down, and then um, continue on. Or just say, deal with it, uh, they'll figure out nothing's wrong, and move on with my life. But uh, we got our power supply, so now it's time to get this baby going. Um, it's also very cold. It got down to 17 degrees yesterday, which is extremely cold for November. Um, where I live, 17 degrees is normally, it's well, it's actually cold for winter for us too. But we usually see that in like January, February, like middle of winter. So yeah, so far this season is turning out to be very interesting. So let's unplug all these cables. Um, plug you. Um... Is that it? Wait, wait, wait! Unplug you. Yeah, nice, you have an SSD with your system. This guy knows what he's doing, he just doesn't know about power supplies. Um, is that all we need? Yep, now we just have to remove this bracket to replace this power supply. And it's also very cold in this room right now. It's about 62, which... I mean, some people think that's really cold. I think it's very cold. I usually like in the 70s, but I, I'll i live. I'll just, you know, complain about it. Um, this one's broken. Why do I even have this one? All right. Sell that one. Hey, we have an actual ding sound now. And yes, it's been a couple weeks since I played this, and this game gets updated pretty frequently, so there might be some additions from the last episode that uh, um, that you guys are probably going to be hearing. Alrighty, now we just gotta install all the cables. So you go to here. Power for the SSD goes here as well. Power to the motherboard goes here. Uh, power to the graphics card. Power to the CPU. Um, and I believe we're good. Now all we have to do is just uh, boot up. Oh, right, right. Okay, I, I remember why I had that bad PSU. This was the one that had the issue where the PSU was frying. Um, I thought this was the one that was trying to figure out why the computer kept crashing um, whenever it tried to do something on it, but it would run fine in, in the boot-up scenario. Never mind. I was just slightly confused. So we have this really old low power supply. Or not really old, used version of a good power supply. Let's put all this stuff together. Alrighty. Power it on. See if she boots. Aw, that's a pretty picture. I wish my, my dog and cat would do that. They hate each other. Well, Watson is a lab and blue healer mix. And um, well, if you guys don't know, we have two dogs here. Um, both named Watson and Sherlock. It was my mom and dad's. It was my mom and my idea. Because Watson's mine, Sherlock was my mom and dad's. And she's like, yeah, yeah, we're going to name our Sherlock. I was like, for some reason, I really want to name mine Watson. And I don't know why at the time I didn't get the the connection. But now I'm like, oh, oh, okay. So I know what we just did. <laughs> we mean the case is incomplete. What's missing? There's nothing missing here, buddy. You're gonna be like that to me. Oh, whoops. <laughs> PSU's not mounted. Alright, we gotta um, take this apart and put the PSU mount back on. I wouldn't even notice, but then again, I'm talking, so sometimes paying attention to important things and uh, talking at the same time just, yeah, it happens. But, anyways, uh, yeah, our dogs are named Watson and Sherlock. Uh, they're both Lab and Blue Healer mixes. They both came from the same family, but they are completely opposites in personality. Like, completely opposite. Um, Watson um, is very, well, they're both very obedient dogs. But, uh, let's see, yeah, this goes over here because you're complete. 
Um, I'll get back to the story here in a second. Let me figure out. Oh yeah, we can do this one while I'm saying the story. But uh, Watson is, um, he's like the attention dog. He likes having a bunch of attention. Um, I likes being scratched, likes being rubbed. Uh, he likes following you around everywhere, going outside. He stays by where you are. So he's really, really good dog when it comes to that part. But the only issue is um, with the lab part of him, he's a very protective dog. And that comes with all any man, all other animals. If any other animal comes close to me, other than Sherlock, because he's Watson's brother, um, he immediately will chase it away. Like we have a, a, a Siamese Himalayan cat in the house named Isabella. Um, she, whenever I go downstairs, uh, she always wants my attention because I'm usually the one that you know pets her and gives her loving and stuff like that. And um, he will. He will come right up to Isabella and chase her away, and Isabella will hiss at him, and they'll get—they won't fight, but they'll just be like having a stare down, like who's making the first move. So, yeah, that's the only issue I have with him. With new humans, he does that as well. He'll get close to you and start growling. Um, the way that we fix that is uh, we'll give the visitor a couple treats, tell him to um, give Watson commands like sit or lay down and feed him a couple treats. After that, he's like, okay, you're a normal human. You're not here to uh, like steal something from the house. Here's the virus scanner. And Sherlock is very energetic, very hyper, and... Um, he is the watchdog, basically. He likes to sit up on the porch and watch everything and um, just make sure the farm is still in good working order. Um, and the only issue is he's 105 pounds. He's a big dog, but he's as hyper as a chihuahua. So that's the, that's the only thing that uh, we have issues with him. Warning, files found. Yay! What porn site did this guy go to? And we'll go if... I'm gonna think, I'm just gonna say Pornhub, even though don't, it's one of the safest porn sites that I've ever been on. <laughs> that makes any sense. I mean, I, I, I'm a guy. I've, every once in a while, I want to see a girl do weird things. Sorry. It's just human nature. Um, and that's the only site I've ever been to that never really gave me a virus. So it's a nice, clean porn site. If that makes any sense. Alrighty, this one's done. So let's place you over here. What's this third one? You're the one that needs the RAM upgrade, and I couldn't upgrade you earlier because I don't know what kind of RAM you have. Alrighty, so let's open you up. And uh, I kind of apologize for not really uploading a whole lot last week. Um, I uh, kind of was getting involved with Blender. Um, I'm learning like uh, how to make 3D objects because eventually I want to make my own 3D animated movie. Uh, let's see, Titan 2, 2133. And um, I've been playing around with that whenever I, I usually spend my time for recording. So, And I also, uh, we've had a snowstorm come in past couple days and I haven't really been able to uber so I've been kind of just catching up with my buddies and just playing games and whatever so now now there's enough of that it's time to help the rest help make the internet happy I guess man I got a lot of stuff on this computer all right let's see if my memory is still good is the Titan 2 gigabyte there it is that's the one we need because that'll upgrade you four and you want four all right cool and then that's the only thing we really need, I believe. So, um, before we order, let's go ahead and get this stuff going. So, collect for removing payments, or removing viruses, not payments. You know, GTX 970 is now available. Cool. From MSI. Bit of a crisis here. That is a long email. I'm definitely not reading all of it. So you want to replace the hard disk drive. This is helping an article for blah 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 so you can understand why I blah blah blah. 
Last thing I need is another mob of angry film fanatics flaming me for the message boards and leaving sneaky comments on every article. Ha! Huh, that sounds like YouTube. That's what happens whenever you make a bad, vehicle, uh, bad uh, video. Um, well, no, no, the people I uh, usually watch, uh, um, I'm not, I'm not really going to say anything because I, I don't want to generate even more flair. But let's just say uh, he tried to um, break tradition because he was really, really busy with other projects for his channel. And he ended up getting a lot of flack about it, so he had to send out an apology. If you watch the channel I'm talking about, you'll know what I'm saying. But I'm not, I'm not going to say any names because I, I'm not that type of person that rats out other channels. Uh, I don't find that very very uh, um, healthy way to express your feelings, I guess. Anyways, that's enough talking. Uh, let's get a little bit more done. Um, so we just need to replace the hard drive for you. So that's fine. Once the hard drive comes in, um, we'll know which one to replace. What are you... Oh, you're, you're the one I did earlier. All right. And then you are done. So let's go ahead and finish you. Looking to upgrade my PC. Ooh, yes. Here's where we get to start playing around with things. Um, this guy wants to upgrade his PC um, to a 3D smart... He wants it just to get a better 3D mark score. Um, he's not going to pay us a whole lot for it. We'll just see what he has. Maybe we can play around with a little bit of overclocking. Do a little bit of memory overclocking and CPU overclocking with the material he has. We don't have the software yet to overclock GPUs, but these are the ones I'm looking forward to because we get to play around with that stuff. So yes, I will definitely take that one. And now let's go ahead and order our new memory stick. So view cart. $30 for shipping, $20 for the memory stick. God, I wish memory was that cheap. But then again, that's a two gigabyte memory stick. We, you really, unless you're using your computer for basic browsing, you're not ever gonna order a two gigabyte stick anymore. It's usually four gigabytes or above. So let's go ahead and buy you. Okay, and now let's turn you off. Shut down. Um, we gotta wait for the memory to come in to put you in. And let's go ahead and end our day. Ooh, I didn't realize that that one was a uh, an instant. Cool. Uh, well, then again, we are going to play around with overclocking, so yeah. Um, there's our memory stick. Let's go ahead and put it in this computer, so this one's all good to go. Okay, install, memory, alrighty, now you have 4 gigs of RAM, uh, let's go ahead and put our side panel back on, boop, 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 there we go, power you on, whoops, never mind. Connect cables, then power on. Connect. Connect. And, no, no, you get back here, Mr. Power Supply. There we go. Now we can turn you on. And let's go ahead and go into the BIOS real quick. There we go, RAM capacity, four gigs, two times two. Everything looks good. This. Do not change settings, boot in, and he wanted us to run, ooh, nice picture. Jeez, where did I get all these cool pictures? I still have the freaking basic uh, Windows 10 background for this computer. Hey, well, to be fair, this is a recording computer, so uh, not really gonna be on the desktop that often, but still, I need to adjust it for my editing computer. Alrighty, um, oh yeah, I can't add anything, so the flash drive's not installed. Er Okay, 3D mark. Uh, yes. Restart to apply the application. 
If you guys ever never uh, used a computer before, this simulator actually does a pretty good job teaching you how to use basic uh, computer things, like how to install things. Even though we don't really install things from a USB drive anymore. Um, that's more for a techie thing. You mainly just download it from the internet. But uh, how to navigate around on Windows and stuff, this is basically how you would do it. This would be the start button. You can launch the applications from here, tell the computer to shut down and restart. Your time and stuff is actually over here as well. There's no like Windows options or anything, but I'm not sure if this game's gonna go that big in detail. It might eventually, but uh, I'm sure they're trying to get other features in the game first because um, it's not really supposed to be like a super like a Windows simulator. It's supposed to be a computer simulator. All right, so let's go ahead and run you. And there's nothing really to do until that's done. Um, I guess we could turn this computer on. Let's see whatever software is available. I got seventeen hundred bucks. I can start up updating uh, this computer. Um, let's see what we have available. Auto connect. Eh, I like doing it manually. It's not worth a thousand bucks to me. PC bay. Not really worth it. Ooh, parts raking. This will be worth it. That will allow us to, uh, um, that will allow us to, uh, uh, what the heck is it called? Um, it will allow us to see, uh, all the, um, the ratings of different, uh, PC parts. So if we want to get a better score on 3D Mark and have money to upgrade it, we can use this to do that. There we go. Yep, go ahead and restart. Well, that's going on, how are we doing over here? Yeah, I think it's almost done. It's on the second test. So yeah, if I open this, it shows you the rating of all the GPUs that are available at the moment. This should update as we get uh, more GPUs available as we level up. So, oh yeah, and also the CPUs too. So i7-6700K is the best. What's the worst? Oh yeah, the Celeron G3900. Which is a, a very slow dual core, if I remember. Ryzen 5 quad core. Cool. And this should update automatically when we uh, um, level up as uh, more parts become available. Okay, so it passed the 3D mark. Um, so I'm gonna go, well, let's see. He, he requested me to do that to keep it stable. So I might keep it on his computer. Even though that doesn't really matter. I'll do it anyways. So, let's grab you, put you in the corridor. Alrighty. And you're the one that wants the better score, and you're the one that wants the HD require. We're gonna do this one next, because I kind I kind of want to play around with overclocking. I haven't really been able to play around with that much in this game, and I want to. Even though this is gonna be very basic overclocking. Um, I still want to play around with it. But anyways, we're going to do that in the next episode, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this so far. Um, we're starting to get into things that are going to get more fun. We're going to start playing around with overclocking. Um, eventually, we'll start playing around with AO, uh, um, AIOs, or all-in-one liquid coolers, I think is what they're called. Um, they're, they're basically liquid coolers you put to one of the components in your computer. Um, and then custom loops, which would probably will happen a lot later, because that's just newly been added to the game. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy this. Please leave a like if you did. If you like what I do, consider subscribing. Check out the other videos on the channel. And if you want to support me directly, there's a Patreon in the video description. Anyways, uh, if, until next time, guys. This is Captain Sovan signing out.